Uh, in this video, I present an example uh, of calculating a sample standard deviation for ungrouped data. Uh, our example is based on the following experiment. If fair four-sided die was randomly rolled, uh, here is a four-sided die. It has four sides, one, two, three, and four. So the experiment is to roll one of this. Uh, it was roll A five times, B 20 times. The outcomes were in A, when you rolled it five, when we rolled it five times, we had four, three, one, two, three. Uh, when we rolled it 20 times, A, B, A, we got three, three, two, four, and so on, as shown. Now, how do you roll one of these guys? You roll it, and then you record the number of the face the die landed on. In this case, the number is three. So this die landed on three. That was the data value you will record, like in one of the data values of our data sets. Uh, some observations first. In data set A, we should observe that there are five data values, so that's a sample size of five. Uh, the frequencies are low. Observe that one occurred once, two occurred once, three occurred two times, and four occurred once. In our data set B, uh, we have the sample size is 20, and the data have high frequencies. Note that the one occurred four times, two also occurred four times, three occurred nine times, and four occurred three times. Now, in what we want to do in this uh, example is to calculate the sample standard deviation for each data set, for data set A and for data set B. We employ, uh, we will employ formulae, uh, in this case, a formula for sample standard deviation. Let's take a look at the different versions we have. If we look at the top formulae, we observe that they are going to be suitable for data with low frequencies. They're both formulae for a sample standard deviation. The difference between them is that in one of those formulae, uh, the sample mean x bar is known, for the other one, a sample mean x bar is unknown. Now, if uh, the sample mean x bar is known, here is our formula for sample standard deviation. The square root of the sum of the quantity x minus x bar squared all over n minus 1. Again, x bar is the sample mean. n is the sample size. Now, when we don't know x bar, the sample mean, then the formula for sample standard deviation goes as follows. The square root of the numerator n times the sum of x squared minus the quantity of sum of x squared over the denominator n times n minus 1. Again, n is the sample size. Now, if uh, we have data with high frequencies, then we will employ uh, two alternate formulae where the frequencies are used. So that's the bottom right there. The bottom two formulae are both for sample standard deviation when the frequencies are high, high frequencies. In the formulae themselves, the frequencies are involved. Now, in the first formula, the sample mean will be known. So what is that formula? The sum, the sample standard deviation is the square root of the sum of x minus x bar squared times f all over n minus 1. x bar sample mean n sample size. If we do not have the sample mean x bar, or we do not know it, then we'll employ this uh, alternate formula uh, for sample standard deviation. It is the square root of n times the sum of x squared times f minus the quantity sum of xf squared all over n times n minus 1. In this case, f is the frequency. For each data value, you have a frequency. When you plug this into the formula, it will be employed. Now, let's work out our examples. 
So we have two examples, uh, two data sets, excuse me. So we'll calculate the standard deviation in both cases. So let's find the sample standard deviation for our data set A. Notice that we only have the data, we don't have X bar, so we will use the formula for sample standard deviation that does not use the sample mean X bar. Also, the, note that the frequencies are low, so we will use the formula that uh, does not employ frequencies. So here it is. The sample standard deviation is the square root of n times the sum of x squared minus the quantity sum x squared all over n times n minus 1. Now I need to uh, obtain the parts in this formula. I need to have n. Well, we do have it. It's 5. I need to have the sum of x squared. I need to have the sum of x. So let's get those here on this side. Let me list my data. My data's values are 1, 2, uh, 3, 3 again, and 4. Now, I need to add them up because my formula requires the sum of those values. The sum of x happens to be 13 when you add them up. Now, in this formula, I also need the sum of x squared. So let's get x squared first, x squared. Uh, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. When you add those, the sum of x squared turns out to be 39. So now we're going to plug those into our formula. So the sample standard deviation in this case is n, uh, 5 in this case, multiplied by sum of x squared, which we found to be 39, uh, minus the sum of x, all squared. The sum of x is 13, so I'm going to get 13 squared, all over n times n minus 1, 5 times 4. Now, when you work this out, uh, 5 times 39 minus 13 squared in the numerator, uh, you will get um, 26. When you work out 5 times 4 in the denominator, you will get 20. Now, the square of 26 over 20 is the same as the square of 1.3. Now, for that, we employ a calculator. Uh, in this case, I'm using a the TI uh, 30x2s. So what I'll do is I'll find the square root of uh, 1.3 in the calculator. And it turns out to be 1.140175, etc. This is a non-terminating non decimal. So if I want to run this off, let, I could run this off to the nearest hundredth which is going to be 1.14. Uh, let's proceed to find the standard, the sample standard deviation for data set B. Note that uh, in that data set we have high frequencies, so we will employ a formula for sample standard deviation with high frequencies, with F involved. Now, since we only have the data then we do not have the sample mean x bar, then we'll use the formula that does not employ x bar. Uh, we could find x bar, however, then if we did find x bar, then we could use the other formula. So here it is. Here's the formula for sample standard deviation for data that, for data that has high frequencies and uh, x bar is not given. So here it goes. In times the sum of uh, x squared times f minus the quantity sum of xf squared all of that over n times n minus 1. Notice that in this formula we'll need some uh, parts to be inputted. We'll need n, well we know n is 20, we'll need the sum of x squared f, we'll need the sum of xf. I have prepared a table that has uh, these parts that allows us to compute those parts. So I'm going to display that table right now. Let me zoom in so it can be seen better. So here it goes. 
Uh, in one column, I'm listing my data values, x, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, I would like to find their frequencies. Well, one occur okay, four times two, four times three, nine times four, three times. Now, in the formula, I'm uh, required to find the sum of xf. So, I will need to know xf first. So, I, I, I multiply x times f. One times four is four, two times four is eight, and so on. Uh, in order to get the sum, I'll just add this column. So I get 4 plus 8 plus 27 plus 12. That's the sum of xf. It turns out to be 51. Now, in the formula, I also need the sum of x squared times f. Before I can find out that, I will need to know the x squares and the x squares times f, the corresponding frequencies. So x squared, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. I now multiply that times the corresponding frequencies. 1 times 4 is 4, 4 times 4 is 16, 9 times 9 is 81, 16 times 3 is 48. I will need the sum of x squared f, so I add 4, 16, 81, 48, the total is 149. Now I'll put this table away, I will use the information on it in the formula for sample standard deviation with high frequencies without x bar. So I'm going back to complete my calculation. So here it goes. I'm going to put in the parts that we now have. We have n. That's 20 times uh, the sum of x squared f. Uh, that was 149 from our table. So 149 minus the sum of xf all squared. Well, the sum of xf was a uh, 51. Uh, we're squaring that. All over n times n minus 1. In other words, 20 times 19. Now, uh, all these calculations get done with a calculator, like 2 times 149 minus 51 squared. When uh, we're doing the calculator, we get uh, 300. In 79. 20 times 19 is 380. So, so far, our sample standard deviation for data set B is the square of 379 over 380. This is an exact answer. What we'll do is now we'll put this in a calculator to obtain a, an approximation, a decimal approximation of this. So, is the square root. the square root of uh, 379, 379 over 380. When you perform that calculation, you get 0.9986833, etc. This is a non-terminating decimal expansion. Now, Let's say we want to run this off to nearest thousandth. So then what do we obtain? We're going to get 0.999. Okay, this completes the example.